and dancing just flex. Real flag boss, you know what just flex? Just flex, tell them some prior words. Just flex, keep your posted all prior crews, you know what just flex with. Subscribers, much respect for this old boy. Number one, Mr. Ya just flex. Yeah, Wagwan, Wagwan, Power Squad. Bless up, bless up, bless up. Wagwan, Wagwan, Lifetime Squad. Just a forward income for give you guys to update and share a one video. Yeah, and you know, so we're not keep up no more time. So Jamaica National died in Miami. Yeah, and the man is only identified as national, and the reports are that he died from a heart attack. Well, he recently went into a car accident, but eventually pulled through, but... The reports are that he died from an heart attack and he also did have the COVID-19. I don't know about the COVID-19. Yeah, but I can tell you he died from an heart attack and him did into a car crash recently, which him did pull through. But viewers and subs, we leave it at that. Just, we just say sad condolences goes out to his family, friends and loved ones. Sadly miss. And then we just have to move on to the next update. Yeah, so Augustone man shot and injured in a robbery attempt in Portmore. Yes, viewers and subs. And the reports are that truck driver got a chase by bike men. So it was two bike men with one pillant. So uh, uh, gunshots start fired. So the truck driver had no other solution but to just drive to make this escape. And while he was driving, yeah, it happened that he you know, came up to some police officers where him alerted them about it and them just opened gunfire at the bad boys and a gun battle ensued in which a man was shot and injured, which that man is from Augustown. Yeah, his name is Whit L at this moment, so he's now under police guard at the hospital. Right, so he's not dead. So we may go do me amazing. keep check out that Jamaica. story also for you guys, but in the meantime, I'm going to just make you just watch the and video clipping. As I'm visiting again, you know, this is a real, real video that I just like when you sit down and listen and hear I'm with the hell that you have so far. By the amount of importing Jamaica is doing. Why are we importing so much when we have so many people here with great potential? that has so much to offer why aren't the people in leadership putting systems in place to assist those people who have great vision to further their vision so that the country can start benefiting from these people vision we claim we want to tackle crime we we'll go on and we put up our kind of spot check that's not how you tackle crime everybody know that poverty leads to crime what's the best way for tackle crime tackle the things that lead to crime and as I said poverty is one of the main things how do you fix poverty it's a very easy thing you know completely eliminate it but what you want to do you want to find the best that are amongst you the people with the best with the most potential and you want to sit those people down let them start to share their concepts and their vision and you want to help to guide their vision in the right direction. And you want to compensate them. No matter child go around giving them the money with them to get for them royalties for coming up with their with their vision. Because when you not pay them, you carry the money, go give the Chinese man and all other man from all around the world will sell. You got you're willing to buy from everybody else. Start to invest in your own people. I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. Me look for some things that we are import here. You have had something like a car tire or, or a battery. You have to say nobody here enough to make battery. Why we not sit down with people and figure out what are some of the things that the country desperately needs and uses and why aren't we mass producing these things? It is ridiculous. And then I, I noticed something now. COVID came. Unexpected. To all of us. The government has put certain systems in place telling their citizens we need you to adjust and i totally get it we need you to do social distancing we need you to wear your mask we need you to sanitize curfew all of this is towards preserving life and i'm all for preserving life my question is what is the government doing what kind of adjustment is the government making 
I understand all the citizens are supposed to adjust. What kind of adjustments is the government making? Because these people, if you're going to preserve life, understand that life requires more than air. You need food. And you need food once a week. You need three meals per day. And you know that. What systems were put in place to ensure that people got their basic, get their basic necessities in this difficult time? Nobody is supposed to lose them assets in this time. As a, if me, I don't have no formal degree behind my name. And if me can recognize all these things, what says you, where, where, where say you're a doctor and a PhD and all this? Come on, man. We have to do better than this as a country. We really have to do better than this. We can't sit down and just watch the citizens them and suffer and I suffer and I suffer. You walk to the place, you can see the people them they're going through. The only reason why Jamaicans aren't committing suicide is because we're a strong set of people. Just just because them strong, it don't mean say you have to put them through struggles. Yes, we know so we're strong and we're resilient. But that doesn't mean say you have to put them through unnecessary struggle. Start put some system in place. I live in America and one of the reasons why America is benefiting from so many, so many different things right now is because those who are from the 80s and the 90s put systems in place so the future generation can benefit. What is Jamaica doing to ensure that the future generation will live a better lifestyle than the ones than the one that we are currently living? We have to do better as a people. We have to. We need people for lead. We, we, we believe in love. Because if you're out here just a child to be politically correct, then you never understand a man like me. And you never understand the problem. Because all you ever care about is the fact that your family have it. Your family have what it needs. And you are set. But when you talk about, when you have somebody that lead from love, and when you have somebody leading with love, a person who has to lead with love has to understand the need of everyone else. I'm not asking that we provide Rolls Royce or Mercedes. I am just simply saying, put systems in place that are going to ensure that people's basic needs, basic necessities are provided. The country has so much potential. I am a man, I, I travel frequently. I go all around the world, been to Dubai, Africa, you, you name it, I go around and I'm telling you, Jamaica, as small of a little island it is, we have great potential if a body want to come at Jamaica. But what is Jamaica doing for its citizens? Makes no sense. We really have to do better. Tag the leaders, tag whoever. I mean, I care about JLP and PMP. I don't care about those things. I don't care. Because I notice every time all them do I bring road come get the people them for them vote. Road can pay bills. Road can feed. People can feed them kids with road. We need leaders We have a lead and do the right things. Put the right systems in place. Go into the ghettos, the communities. Figure out who are the best amongst you. Figure out who are the people with potential. Start to invest in them. And pay them. That's not, I think that might be a lot issue too. It's nobody try to go around giving them the money. Cause if you're not give them the money, I'll give to the to the Chinese man, to the all the different people. Give them the money, give them them royalties for coming up with the vision. But invest in them and let your country start benefiting from them. Stop trying to be just a consumer. We can produce too. Jamaica, we can do better. And all we need. This is not something what we need, not no special tool. We just need the right persons who are in play. In the right persons who are in position to, to call these shots to do the right thing that's all we need I may have stumbled upon my words because I'm very emotional about this I'm very disappointed my hurt to my core my hurt because this this is unnecessary we can do better as a country and we should do better we might not, we might can't fix the problem overnight, but let us start implementing systems that is going to create a better Jamaica. Go ahead and tag the leaders if you know who they are and you're familiar with them. Tag them, tag the people who need to see this message. Yes, uh, bless up again. Welcome back. Bless up Power Squad again. Bless up, bless up Lifetime Squad. Power Squad, you know, no one word. Just like, share, and comment. 
Lifetime squad, you know some are not leaving, but at the same time, you just like and share videos, right? Because you like the commenting. So when I go do know my viewers and subs, you just enjoy the rest of the Saturday. Yeah, and just keep safe, be careful, and you know just Blex motto. Not just no one. So just Blex, they tell you a couple live. You know, and couple uploads, you know, a couple months ago where we tell you, say, two things can stop crime. You know, and this man say poverty, you know, but who say poverty? Because you can't poor, you know. Yeah, but once you have food. So we the most say hunger, you know, hunger. And we, the citizens, have to come together to fight crime. You know, don't leave it in the hands of the military forces and the prime minister because they can't stop crime. Uh, we as a city so have to come together. So my viewers and subs, we not keep up no more time. Just share in the comment night section below. Peace and we out. And them for no side, Jai Meds, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them some prior words. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he a dire hurt? The most I alert. If I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset. You know what I mean?